Josh, why don't you take a moment and tell our audience what is important about, why is it important to know what a self-directed IRA is and how does that relate to uh, attracting uh, private money? Sure. Yeah. Self-directed IRAs is of course a huge part of being a real estate investor, a successful real estate investor. And Jay, what I tell people is look is funding equals freedom. Okay. Funding equals freedom. And I'm not talking about first mortgage debt. Anybody can get that. What I'm talking about is true private money from private investors. Like you teach your members, um, getting those dollars, not hard money, not bank financing, but true mom and pop private money. Um, that's what provides freedom because even if you do a $20 million apartment deal, um, I'm actually making an offer on an apartment deal next week for a hundred million dollars. We'll have to raise $30 million of private money. A big piece of that 30 million will come from, you know, a, a private equity fund, but we'll probably have to raise 10 million from mom and pop private investors. And a lot of them have self-directed IRAs. Self-directed IRA is, is simply an IRA like you think of anything else, but instead of investing it in traditional investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, you can invest and self-direct it into alternate alternative assets. It could be crypto, it could be oil and gas, it could be cannabis, it could be you know, some sort of e-commerce deal, it could be a private placement memorandum, an apartment, but it's self-directed. So people are sourcing self-created deals. Now, Jay, you and I both know that some of the very best deals are the deals that are not done in the public markets, but they're done in the private markets. We all know that Facebook was founded through a private friends and family offer, right? And Peter Thiel, the, one of the original investors in Facebook, invested through his self-directed Roth IRA, which is now worth like $5 billion. So self-directed IRAs is one of the, it's one of the great wonders of the world because you can direct your dollars into almost any type of asset. There's a few that are excluded, like life insurance and, and alcohol and some other weird stuff, you know, stamps and rugs and weird stuff like that. But you can invest in almost anything you want, and that way you can control the investments and invest in what you know, invest in what you're familiar with. And often, as long as you invest with a good operator, those returns can be far better and more secure than the stock market. So those are just about finding the right operator, finding a guy like Jay or one of Jay's students, finding someone like me or finding a good operator that's gonna care for that money and have full disclosure, a lot of transparency. That's the challenge, right? So Jay, as you know, a lot of people invest in the public markets because they perceive them to be regulated, they perceive them to be normal, they perceive them to be more safe, but that's not really the case. The safest deals I've done have been doing deals with people that I personally vetted and then took my self-directed IRA and gave them money or they gave me money, vice versa. Um, so the idea of self-directed IRAs is huge and I would encourage all of you guys to create your financial friends, okay? You cannot take your self-directed IRA and loan it to yourself, but you can loan the money to a friend of yours and that friend of yours, if they like your deal, they can invest or lend to you. So you create your financial friends, your network, which Jay does a great job of connecting you guys, all your listeners together, uh, create your financial friends, use your self-directed IRAs to help each other.